Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, welcome, 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 my illustrious family, to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Okay, you guys, listen. I want to talk about something that I think is important. Uh, it's very early in the morning here. And, um, you know, I'm usually up the crack of dawn before um and right now i just want to bring some truth postulates to you today this morning something i really want you to think about analyze um and see if there's any truth to it for you and share with me how you feel about what i'm saying if you think it's bull crap if you think there's some truth to it i would actually really really like to know what you guys are thinking um, you know, uh, what's her name? Uh, Hay, Louise Hay. Um, one of her books, I can't think of the name of it right now, but she talks about how you associate certain organs of the body, um, that get damaged through certain amount of pain that you go over throughout your life. And... What or certain thoughts that weaken certain organs in your body? I think that's very, very, very important because if you don't think about uh, uh, what goes on inside and how it's just a replica of what goes on outside, then y you know you 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 you're starting off behind the eight ball. So what I'm saying. And what I wanted to share is when you have grief and you're grieving and there's a lot of grief in your life, you know, that weakens your lungs. According to a lot of scientists, when you bathe and get drunk off grief and when grief is a certain part of your everyday existence and you just cannot let go of the past and you, you, you're grieving, you're just grieving or you haven't figured out a way to get past some of the grief. All you're doing is really, really weakening your lungs. Okay? Worry. When you worry, and this is something that has gotten me over the years. So, what I'm sharing with you, I'm telling you, you can believe it if you want to. I know there's some truth to it. Um, those are the puppies back there, as you can hear. They are getting huge. And they're bad. And, um... They breaking out, got me trying to chase them and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, you know, when you worry a lot, that in itself weakens your stomach. You can come up with all kinds of ulcers, all types of um, digestive problems, um, diverticulitis, uh, all types of, you know, Crohn's, whatever, you know, illnesses that affect the digestive system in the stomach. Is usually because you can trace it back to you worrying as far back as a child, as a baby almost. Stress. Stress weakens the brain. Okay? And that's if you want to know why we got so many combustible people, um, especially in these urban areas, in these hoods, it's because they're stressed out. The brain is like at a uh, uh, an arrested development state because of the stress, you know. So stress does weaken the brain, and you know. Tell me what you think. And as a matter of fact, if you know some more that may uh, add uh, negativity to your life, please share it below. Because this is very important for the family. If you fear a lot, that weakens your kidneys. You know, your kidneys are actually weakening um, by your inability to face your fears. Okay? Now, this is some real important stuff. Laughter, it, it reduces stress. I mean, 
that's why I'm always getting up in the morning. I'm always trying to find some. I try to start my day with laughter. I get up. I try to find something funny on YouTube, and I crack my ass up. I laugh so hard, uh, especially some of these videos with babies and um, or when when um, animals attack. Um, not the kind where people are getting mauled and maimed. I, I don't mean that type. I mean the type where it's actually funny. Uh, people running from sheep, goats. Those things are funny to me because I remember having a... When I lived and when I had my own farm, I remember uh, <laughs> sheep. Uh, you can't turn your back on them. You turn your back on them for one minute, they'll butt you in the head. And we had butter. That's what we call them. We call them butter. Because every time you throw the hay, you might forget. And you walk away. Next thing you know, he would knock you over the corral. That's my grandbaby, y'all. She is just, she's calling the cows. Smile. Smile spreads happiness. So when people ask me, you know, I don't I don't get to smile as much as I like because my teeth ain't ready yet, but uh smiling it disarms people. You know, it's not that you're trying to be a buckling slave when you smile at people. It's okay to pass love. Love is okay. And don't let this society have you so corrupt where you think Love has no place. Love is not good. Love doesn't have um, a healing property in it. It does. It really does. Love brings in peace, harmony. It strengthens your mind and your body. Listen to that again. Love brings in peace and harmony. It strengthens your mind and and your body. That's what love do. So. What am I telling you this morning? Go out there. And find you somebody to love. And as Luther said. And if you can't be. With the one you love. Love the one you with. Da -da 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 -da, love the one you with. Alright you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.